Hi, Naptime friends. It's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Today, I'm going to be re-pouring over this piece here. I just didn't like how it turned out, so I'm going to try to do a huge swipe on it. I'm going to be using the Artisan Mica Powder in Violet, Color Obsession Aquamarine Paste, the Lores Glitz and Glam Pigment in Suncatcher, and my Stone Coat Countertops White Base Tint. I keep my base tints in these hydrogen peroxide bottles. I find that they're just easier to store that way. So what I'm going to do is just take some 91% isopropyl alcohol and clean this off. And I um, did a video on how I created this one. If you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. I'm going to be using my Promarine Tabletop Epoxy, and I'm going to mix that up for three minutes off camera. I just did that to save time. If you want to see a tutorial on how to mix your pigments and all that good stuff, I will put an iCard right here and link it down below as well. So here I'm just going in with my Stone Coat White Base Tint, and I'm putting this all over my piece, and I'm going to smooth it all out. And I put a teaspoon of the White Base Tint in my 3-ounce cup of resin, and that seemed to be enough. So here I'm going in with my Aquamarine, just diagonally straight across the piece. And now I'm going in with the Artisan Mica Powder in Violet. Same thing, just going right on top of that Aquamarine. And the Aquamarine's a really pretty color by Color Obsession. Um, it's a really nice turquoise. And here is my Sun Catcher by Lores. And to swipe, I'm going to be using freezer paper. I'm just going in with my heat gun on high heat to pop any bubbles and just warm up my resin so it's easier to swipe. Once it's a little bit warmed up, it'll swipe easier for you. So here's my freezer paper, and I'm going in with the shiny side down. And I decided to fold it in half just because I couldn't get a good, you know, kind of, I couldn't get it down on the resin properly. So I folded it in half just to make it like a little bit stronger so it wasn't as flimsy. Sorry, my head's in frame here. So I just went in and made sure there was a pencil width of the freezer paper touching my resin here. And I'm just pulling it down slowly at an even pace, trying to make sure I don't lose contact. And now I'm going to flip my piece around here and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to grab my freezer paper, just make sure it's touching in all the spots. Make sure there's a pen, like about a pencil width and just pull evenly and gently. Try not to be heavy handed when you're swiping with resin. And I also did another swipe like this with earth tones. I will link that down below if you want to check it out. It turned out really awesome as well. See, I kind of didn't get contact on the sides there, so that was a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. So here I'm just taking some of my runoff that ran off of my piece, and I'm just taking my finger and kind of just filling in the spots where it's white and I wanted more color. Just kind of doing little finger swipes, I guess you could call it. And same thing up at the top here, going in with my finger and just kind of putting the aquamarine and the violet in places where I messed up on my swipe. See, just like that. And I was trying not to disrupt the area where I did swipe. You can see, right, if you look really closely, the cells are going to start popping up. Can you see that? And now I'm going in to highlight with my Sun Catcher. This is such a pretty color. You guys have to try it if you haven't tried it yet. It's gorgeous. And I'm just going in and making little pretty designs, just outlining the lines that are naturally there, just to give it a little bit of a highlight. It's so shimmery. And it has that gold undertone too. So it's really, really pretty to use as a highlight. So you can really see the cells starting to pop up here. 
I am going to just use my heat gun on high heat to pop any bubbles just to make sure there's no bubbles in there. And I'm going to take my fingers, go around the bottom to get any drips off before I take it to my dust free zone. And this is about 30 minutes later. Check out the cells that popped up. And here it is all dry. Check it out. There's just like so many cells on this one. It's awesome. And it's got that shimmer. The violet from Artisan, the mica powder, is really pretty and shimmery too. I love this little section right here, this corner. It looks 3D, but it, the surface is totally flat. But the um, combination of the mica powder and the pastes gives you nice cells as well. And it gives you that 3D effect. But check out all the cells, guys. I was like, holy cow, I couldn't believe all these cells popped up awesome see you can really see like how it looks 3d right here in this spot and the stone coat uh, white base tint is what caused these cells it's got some magical ingredients that cause the resin to sell up like this i love this like webbing section right here there's so much stuff to look at it's just cool i think it's cool what do you guys think about this one I love this section right here too with the purple on the white and the teal popping up through there or the aquamarine popping up through there. Swiping with resin is hit or miss for me. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's nothing like Scarlet at Display of Color. Do you guys um, know who that is? She does amazing resin art and swipes with resin. If you're not subscribed, um, definitely go check her out. I'll link her channel down below. She's just like so inspiring. She does some amazing stuff with resin. I really love the bottom left corner. If I could just make an entire piece that looked like this right here that would be great <laughs> I love this section what do you guys think about this one let me know down in the comments I hope you guys are all having a great day and um, I'll see you on Wednesday for another video bye guys